Hello, and welcome to the Kathleen Spracklin Podcast. I am a woman on a mission to give you the zettelkasten of your dreams sitting on your work table right beside you. Well, I have an interesting card to share with you this time. It's a simple-looking main card. What could cause all the problems? Oh, my gosh. Uh, this was just amazing what it opened up, and I think you might enjoy it, too. So I'm going to share it with you without any spoilers. Let's go over to the down-facing camera. How could one little card test me so much? This was the first main card that I added to uh, my Zettelkasten from Simon Sinek, Start With Why. It's the card that I noticed when I was doing the inspectional reading, and um, I held off making the main card until I did the analytic reading, and it's my first card coming out of the Simon Sinek book. And it's uh, just the insight to me that customers are actually benefited by knowing your business why. It makes them do a whole lot more mental steps if you just tell them what your product is. They have to say, okay, this is what I need. This is what they've got. Hmm, does what they have match my need? They have to do this analysis, which people ought to do anyway when they make a purchase. But if you start with why you created the product, and what it means to you, or even what your business is about as a whole, then the customer can start off by saying, wow, I resonate with that. That fits the way I look at the world. And then when you tell them about your product, it's like, oh, yes, and that is the one that seems to fit what I need. And it, uh, so the, all of the analysis just confirms their original idea that you're a good choice for them. So then the problem came for filing this card because... Uh, I don't really have anything about business in my Zettelkasten. So I looked up customers, no match, aided, well, knowing, and well, business, no. Then why? Oh, under why, I found something that tied into purpose. Inspectional reading begins with why and needs purpose. So this card, my new card, chose the Adler card for its parent. It was the closest thing that I had. I had to make a decision. I've got a brand new topic coming up here, business, and I've already scoped out several books for inspectional reading. Do I really want all of business to grow up under an area that's about reading and thinking and reasoning and logic and studying? Do I really think business should grow up there? Oh, yes, I have a rule of thumb. A tenuous link is better than starting a whole new section. Okay. I had to follow my own rules on the subject, and so I chose to make this card the parent. I gave it the appropriate number and indexed it in all the appropriate ways. Well, along the way, looking for something, I did find one match on business. It was one of those dead title cards. 3A2B, Written Communication in Business. It already is on a divider which is really all it's good for, since there's no real main card to go with this. In this case, there really was no main card at all with 3A2B. It was just this divider. So because I encountered it directly in my work, I set a rule to myself to gradually convert these dead title cards into main cards in my system, uh, not all at once, just if I encounter one head on, do it then. So I did do that. I followed that rule, and I created this main card. And the way I created this main card from that nothing title was that I did a Google search on the string, what is the most important factor in business communication? Google gave me their answer. I paraphrased it, cited Google as the source, and noted that they said clarity and conciseness are the two most important factors in business communication. So then clarity and conciseness, oh, my brain, of course, was still on my card about business. Why? So my reaction was that clarity and conciseness should be central for stating the business why as well, because that's an important part of business communication. Uh-oh, another test. Now my card from Simon Sinek wanted this card for its parent. Well, that would mean renumbering this card. I have a rule. Cards don't get renumbered. And I'd already indexed this card in all the appropriate ways. 
under this number. Was I going to break my rule now? I was tempted. 3A2B is a much cleaner area if all business is going to grow up somewhere. There wasn't even another thing with under this divider. It was an empty section. How perfect for business to grow up there. Temptation, temptation. Oh, should I get out the white out? No. I pass my own test again. There's another way of handling this. And we all know what that is. This card became an alternate parent. So I needed a real live directory card. This is just a divider. And I created a link to my new card. And now I've got two businesses, references to business on the same card. Even though I did not give this card a number based on this one, there's at least a decent chance that business information will grow up under this section. Can't can't say for sure because each new card gets to choose its own parent and who knows the next main card I make might want to go some place totally different the new card gets to choose its parent well I hope you enjoyed all the surprises one main card could offer such a simple card and yet it just went so many different directions I had to keep so many rules that I had made to myself I had to honor them and I'm glad I did because the way it's going to work out, I think it'll come out exactly the way that I almost envisioned it if I had decided to yield to temptation and break those rules. Well, I also made a new mental note. Yes, when I run into dead category cards that only have a title and nothing more, I will definitely make them at least one a day into real main cards. But the wrinkle that I'm going to put in there is if I've run into one of these, I'm going to make it first before my new main card chooses its parent. Because it just might be that once it's a real main card, it's th it would be the one that the new card would want for its parent. I think it's just as well the way it worked out, but that's my new plan going forward. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.